Now we're going to talk about coastal erosion, transportation and deposition. Now there's a lot of different erosion types you need to be aware of. We'll be looking at hydraulic action, abrasion, attrition and corrosion, otherwise known as solution. So starting with abrasion, this is when broken fragments of rock are held against the cliff by wave action, causing bits of rock to be eroded off the face of the cliff in a sandpaper-like action. Hydraulic action is when waves hit the cliff and water and air goes into cracks. As the water retreats, the air expands, causing those cracks to enlarge. Corrosional solution is the chemical action of the waves on the rock. Because that seawater contains salt, the salt slowly erodes the cliff and the material is carried away in waves. Attrition is when particles carried by the waves crash against each other and get smaller through wave action. In this way, the particles become smaller and rounder. So that's everything you need on erosion, but what about deposition? Deposition is, is when the waves crash against the beach and the sea water loses energy. This leads to the depositing of particles, sediment, pebbles, sand, etc. In order for deposition to take place, you need to have a stronger swash compared with backwash because otherwise the backwash will remove all that material back to sea. Transportation is the movement of material by the sea and along the coast by waves. So traction involves large pebbles and boulders are rolled along the seabed. Saltation involves small stones and pebbles are bounced along the seabed. Gosh, these all sound very similar. Solution is the transport of dissolved rock. And now we're going to talk more about longshore drift. So what is longshore drift? Well, if we were to define it, we'd say it's the transportation of sediments along the coast in a zigzag-like pattern. But how does longshore drift come about? Because obviously it doesn't happen at every single coastline. Well, first of all, you need the prevailing, so that's the dominant wind blowing at an angle to the coast. Because the prevailing wind is at an angle, the wave swash deposits material at an angle on the beach. And then if you think about which direction the backwash will be happening in, it'll be occurring perpendicular to the beach due to the action of gravity. So whereas that material is being deposited at an angle, in terms of the backwash, it will be occurring perpendicular, so in a straight line. Hence, you can see that zigzag pattern building up. Identify a process of coastal erosion. The answer here is abrasion. Remember, that's when broken rock fragments are held at the cliff by waves and break off more pieces of rock like sandpaper. State one transportation process that occurs along a coastline. I'm going to go for longshore drift.